freaking weekend. Hey, if you know what song that is, link it down below. But hey, visionaries, it's A back on your screen with another vlog and we need to stop meeting like this. I need to stop starting vlogs with hauls. But this is something that has been a month in the making. I saw this blazer early September and I said, hold off on it. Thank God I did. <laughs> Patreon fam knows exactly why there's a story within a story within a story with this. Why do I feel like my battery's gonna die? Finally caved in, put it in my cart, and then I got a notification that it's back ordered until this week. I told you one too many times that Aritzia is like Amazon Prime. When you order, they ship that stuff overnight. To my surprise, it really didn't need to be that difficult. I'm in love with this. I told myself you need to get a dark suit. Does this look dark to you? Clearly conflicted. But anyway, I'm looking forward to this weekend. I have a few plans. I think this is gonna be a weekend vlog. It won't be a week long vlog. This is gonna tie you guys over because by the time you're watching this, hopefully my vlog camera, you guys, wow, not me falling over on my monitor. Hopefully by the time you guys are watching this, I would have sent my camera in for repair. There's some things not working well and it'll be back to me and you won't miss a beat. But in case that's the case, this will be the last for a little while. I have some other content. You can always check me over on Instagram, but that's the game plan. So I'm currently editing a vlog right now and that would be three vlogs ahead of this one. So if editing Alicia gets on her ish, you'll have a vlog every week and then you won't even notice that I'm gone. We're gonna go to Wingstop. I've never been and I've been meaning to go since it first came to Toronto. So I'm looking forward to that on Saturday. In the meantime, you know what we can do a little later tonight? I'm gonna make my cookies, my world famous cookbook. Okay, they're not world famous. I got the recipe off New York Times, don't tell anyone. But these cookies are a crowd pleaser and I wanna bring them when I go to see some family on tomorrow morning. Why am I having my days all mixed up? I need to get it together. Are you seeing this? Talk about tailored. Hello, I will link this blazer down below. This is not sponsored or anything, but I'm just obsessed with the silhouette. Snug as a bug, so <laughs> if you get your shoe size, maybe you don't eat lunch while wearing this or wear it open. I love it. I'm gonna buy the matching pants so I can have a full suit, even casually with jeans. I mean, this is a fall moment. I absolutely love it, especially if I straighten my hair. Who this? Happy Thursday! It's T minus two hours before I have to go. Not directly to the podcast show, but I'm meeting up with my friend Kev before we gotta go. Because <laughs> if I waited until two hours before, we would be late. And since I have PTSD from the Janko concert, I A don't want to be late, and B I definitely want to double check to make sure they're still scheduled on time. Although it was a mild day today. It's not mild enough for a t-shirt dress, unless I throw over the knee boots, but I feel like that's doing too much. What do people wear to a live podcast show anyway? That part. So help me pick an outfit. I mean, help me think out loud because by the time this is posted, I've obviously gone. Let's pick something more weather appropriate. Outfit number one, I'm already struggling with. I'm sure you can see figure one. I don't want to not wear a bra with it. Being part of the Itty Bitty Committee, I kind of need it but it's too big in different places. I bought this years ago from JLux label and I only ever wore it once. It's so soft, like ridiculously soft. What do you think, light mode or dark mode? So just based off the strength that this took me way too long to zip up, I think I'm gonna stick with this one. The only thing is, depending on what we get into after, the long sleeves indoors might be a little hot for me, but it matches my nails. from last year. It's been a, a crazy fucking year. It's been some crazy shit since the last time I think we all saw each other. Don't try to play coy, man. You with your people. We're in Toronto. It's OVO assist. Stop trying to be like nice. 
Nice and like, hey, yo, it's so good to see y'all. Talk to your fucking, this is the family here. This is Toronto. I don't yell at my family. Then you're not Irish. Walk in the house and start yelling at your cousins, like, yo, how the fuck you been? Yeah. And then now that we're all here together, everybody looks good, looks great. Single? Ladies? All right, all three of y'all, that's what's up. Niggas in Toronto locking these teeth, locking y'all down. Huh? What's your name? We together now. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out this area right here. I can also tell that you don't know anything about this podcast and you were dragged here. How do you feel so far? It's weird, isn't it? No, he's just weird. It's okay. <laughs> but um, now that we're here. Fine, the laws are different in Canada. That's all being different is crazy. Those girls are legal, fine. <laughs> this is all from the exact site of Canada.gov. Who is the mayor of Toronto? Chubbs. No? I'm not mad at that answer. No? That could have fooled me. See, homie flexing. He pulled out a hundred and showed me over. Yo, you can live right here. Yo, he came with you with him? That's, yo, that's kind of, I think he just cheated on you. He just gave another girl a hundred dollar bill and said, yo, look at this mom real quick. Can you say the name? Robert Gordon. There's a lot I could say, but I'm just gonna head up yeah. right now because so we're chopping it up. This nigga definitely sells drugs, man. That's fucked up, y'all ain't no call now song, man. That's insane to me. That's a hot legend. Oh, I dropped that? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, man. A black woman gonna let you know it. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, thank, thank you. Raven, I'm from Bradford. Oh. Raven from Bradford. Oh. So I have to ask, why was there some boobs there? Something about Bramford that we don't know about? Why, why did people boo? I thought he was going to see a Brad Todd. What? <laughs> Ton. That's a, that's, a, that's a scary place, I'll tell you. I'm not sure. Yo. <laughs> We're going to go Acapulco. For those that don't know, in Canada, that means acapella. Got two cell phones, one brand new, and the one is so outdated. But a new one worth way less than the old one, that's just so outrageous. When I pop my lamp outside my office, how I know I made it. Had to get shit fast, but I could have went slow. Didn't have to be impatient. Wait, wait. I just want to be free, no mason. I just want to be me, no faking. I just want to go leave the matrix. She sent me a text of a wrench, and I know that it means she needs some maintenance. Please don't get me vexed, you know Listen, listen, listen. It's funny that people who think that I'm cocky, that people who have no ambition inside. I try to squat in the talent, I'm giving it really. I do the fuck up my life. Yes, I'm a man on a mission, but maybe I started off as a low key some drive. I want the money before all the fame and that greenness would lead to deception of mine. I put the use of my talents to better myself and go rip all the blessings and ties. But I was scraping the side of the glass, so for money go heal the depression of mine. I come from nothing, so I had to make it an effort to get everything that is mine. If you can do what I did, it ain't not even better. No way that you left me behind. What's the price to get on the end? It's gonna be ripped and thick. Come on. Yeah. As everyone in Canada knows, since your prime minister is now a pedophile, anything goes in rap battles. So how do I start this? Some rap smarts me. You upcoming rappers, I sit in my tart. Prepare to have your rap tarnished. Even your own fans about to be blown away like a cartridge. It's simple mathematics. I don't mean to be mean when I say your shit is average. You go against me, need a gladiator, hundred Spartacus. Fine, I'ma throw you on a plane with no parachute or harness. You're not a rapper, you an actor. I'll throw your Oscar in the garbage. You messed up with the rap too. You fake snakes, couldn't get green, even ask Bruce Banner, like Drake, I'm on my worst behavior. We in Toronto with a six, so I leave a pool six feet up. The thing that ever happened to us was having a six month old baby on stage during our DC show. Like six Short months? The baby was like six three weeks old. <laughs> the neck is yeah. still wobbling and shit. Oh, yo. Sure they need to be in the bassinet, is that what they call it? I thought that was the craziest shit. Then we got to Toronto and we had couples come on stage and we pressured this gentleman into proposing to his girlfriend on stage. Living in Sco Scoville? It sound like it's cold as fuck wherever that's like. <laughs> Scoville. Alright, well a year, almost a year to the day, we had y'all on stage at the last show. Yeah, your dad Nigerian, he probably like, you are not to mind. <laughs> you are twins, you are not to mind. Like, Mo and I have been such a big part of this, which is probably a lot. I think that's why I'm the biggest gas. Nothing to do with that. No matter what the gender of the baby is, Ramal? White Jewish name, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm aware. Free Palestine. Uh, anyway, two years? Yes. 
that's always an awkward question because I hate it when people would ask me and my girl that, like, you guys trying to have kids? Like, are you asking me if I'm having unprotected sex with my girlfriend? I'm glad to see that y'all are happy. Y'all are together. The rings are here tonight. Make some noise for this beautiful couple, y'all. You have a hat that says, I'm just out here trusting God. Amen, brother. Oh, that's a nigga that cheat right there. <laughs> Tell you something about the Christians. And when he gets caught cheating, he's gonna say, Yo, I separated myself from God. Yeah. I'm now back to God, so I won't cheat again. Yeah. After me and the ex had broken up, me and him had got together, and like obviously you talk about like your past relationships yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. And he told me that he thought that I should have a conversation. <laughs> Why did you ask her to have that conversation? Because I don't know when I'm gonna have my conversation with my ex. Hey, hey, nah, nah, you, you take the shot. <laughs> hey, take a shot! I'll take a shot! We played golf together, it's on camera. We played with Puffy's manager, so we're definitely in the paperwork. If you have any questions, no. please stand up. Ben will find you. No. Give you the mic. Ah, listen, I love you. Make it quick, please. What if I kissed you right now? Are you okay? Are you hot? I play with somebody that's hot to do that. I'm good. If the bag came at you, would you ever go back to complex? No. Oh. Complex? Would we ever have complex? Come on now. No, I, I think I guess that's the short answer, no? You don't wash your fruits and vegetables? Wait, wait. If Julian we leaves the show, can Ed come back? No. Um, wah, 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 wah. Like, we still speak to Ed. It's not like we don't wear, you know, like Ed. Rory has given Ed in work, sent them on, like, jobs, like, put money in his pocket. I just hit him last week, we had work for him. Like, we're still cool with him, but... I don't think coming back is the thing. Like, I don't, I don't even think Eddie would want that. Like, he has more free time now. He can do other things that he wants to do. So I've seen you in, so we know that, that it's you. Um, my tits will be out. I'm the only person with my tits out. Do you know it's me? <laughs> well, you gotta show me your tits now, so... <laughs> later, later, later. Show me your tits later. I listen to all hip-hop. I listen to every bit of hip-hop. Yeah. Everyone that supports me, yeah, I listen to real. just the baby. My dream guest would be some shit we should Uber to now. <laughs> I would love to have to have Drake on. Um, Larry David would be a, a huge guest for me. I would love to have Larry David on. But yes, yeah. oh, oh, all my all my answers are obvious. He said Tory Lanez. No, I will not speak to Tory Lanez. Doing podcasting and uh, working with Rory for all these years, I think it's helped me like understand like the generation behind me a little more. Because um, a lot of my peers are either like they're the same age or I always hung out with people that were older than me. So to have somebody that I'm with almost every day that's almost nine years younger than me, it's like it helps. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> I got a full hairline, no fuck all you niggas that's bullshit. Ten years younger. Um, so it, it's, it's, helped, it's, helped, it's helped me uh, understand the generation behind me. It's helped me understand the way they think, the type of things that they're into as far as music and culture and things like that has helped. But it's also been interesting to see, you know, I knew Rory when he was a little child running wild and now he's yes. a dad. So that transition and that change in him has been fun to watch from my perspective as well. So it's well, cool. Per perfect segue outside of the business shit, and I'm, I'm gonna get emotional and cry. The best, like the best way I've seen with Maul and I's relationship is how he treats my daughter. <laughs> Toronto, we love y'all. We thank yes. y'all. Merch is available in the back. We will have new merch available online soon. Look for that. Thank you for coming out. Please get home safe. Do you want to?
want to know? She just said Suya and I'm like, let me try it. I can try. Yeah, it's really good. It's the next day. I just got in from a hot girl walk and I wanted to wrap up the vlog. I mean, it's October 18th and 18 degrees. I might get into some things later tonight, but I just ran a quick errand. And now I'm going to prep for tomorrow, which will be in a completely different vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed spending another week with me. I enjoyed that live pod. It wasn't what I expected, but I mean, like I said yesterday, I didn't really know what to expect. And I forgot to take an Instagram pic in my onesie, so I'm going to have to wear it again very, very soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed spending a, another week with me as we got into many different things. I can't wait to see how many hours I have to edit down to 45 minutes or less. I hope you guys enjoy this one. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. I'm excited to come out a little bit before I get back to editing. I haven't been here in a year. But it's the only but a good year. Now,